What's up guys, my name is Anthony Lozada and this is my 1992 Acura NSX. I I've had my NSX since May 2016. I it used to be white, uh, it used to be a lot more stock. <laughs> it didn't look anything like this, pretty much. It had 230,000 miles on it. It was original 92 Grand Prix white. Now I guess it's a pretty popular desired color. When I bought it, it had a few things done to it. It had a six-speed swap done because uh, this originally came with a five-speed, but the previous owner took an NA2 six-speed swapped it in here. He also did the front-end conversion. He did pretty much like a Type R style build where he did the O2 conversion. It was a coupe, which the Type R's are. It had the O2 side skirts, the O2 rear balance, O2 taillights, Type R wing, Type R hood. Lowered a little bit on some VSXXs. You know, me being a car guy and the, the kind of car guy I am, I can't not mod my car. When I bought it, I, I remember getting compliments when I first you know, bought it. People were like, damn, sick car, dude. And I was like, yeah, yeah thanks for the compliment. But I, I it didn't feel like it was mine, you know? <laughs> I felt that like I was rocking someone else's bill and I couldn't take credit for it. So with, with how I am, I was like, you know what, I gotta start, you know, doing things to it to make it feel like mine. I'm gonna fast forward today and this is kind of what I did. <laughs> Comes to the overall build, like it kind of just spiraled into what it is now. It all started back in 2017, November. I was out on a drive to Alice's and all of a sudden I started hearing this noise coming from the rear of the car. And I was like, what is that? You know, that situation where you're like, oh, you hear a weird noise. You start turning down like the music and you're panicking like, okay, let, let me let, let, let me roll up the windows. I'm like, what's that sound coming from? It was coming from the engine. And so I pulled over and I was like, damn, what the hell is that noise? So I turned it on, let it idle and it was knocking. You you know, they decided to play some knock-knock jokes on me, you know? <laughs> but I pull out to the side, check the oil. There was no oil in it. And I was like, man. November 2017, it went down. It was a huge roller coaster of a rebuild because I've never had to build an engine before. Never had to build one. Having to pull an engine out, first car being an NSX, I was like, oh, shit, what am I doing? <laughs> I don't know what the hell to do. You know, the, the extent of my experience of building a car was bolt-on stuff, you know? Never really having to pull an engine out and build it and everything. It was a exciting time because only sad but that it happened, but kind of exciting to know that, okay, well, I guess this is gonna be the start of, I guess, a, not, not a true build, but the depth of a build I have never reached before. So building these uh, C30s, uh, the C30A that's in here, the three liter V6, finding parts for this thing wasn't cheap. And so the first thing I had to do was pull the engine out. Cause I like to tinker with things. I kind of wanted to take on the job of pulling the engine out myself. Cause I felt that it would kind of be fun. Cause I've never done before. I've never pulled an engine out before. And so I went ahead and got the car in the air and started going ham on it, you know? <laughs> I had some friends over, uh, you know, it was one of those times where I was like, hey, I'm gonna need, need some reinforcements. So called some homies over, um, they helped out. It took like two days, I think, to get the whole engine out. It was a fun experience. My next thing to do was to ship it off to, or to find someone to tear the engine apart, and let me know what it, what it needed pretty much. So I got recommended to a machine shop over in Cupertino. Fast forward two years and I still haven't got my engine back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it was just a long waiting game. And during those two years, the car pretty much just sat waiting for an engine to get done. I got bored, so I kept keeping my eyes on for sale. The NSX classifieds, both on the forums and on Facebook, eventually accumulated a good amount of parts. I'm normally the type of person to do one thing at a time, but because given the situation, my car was literally down for two years, I'd collected so many parts over time, was able to still mod the car without even having the engine in there because I bought so many things for it and a lot of it was carbon fiber I guess you say I have one of the I have a carbon fiber addiction kind of there's plenty of carbon fiber parts out there but to execute it well tastefully I, I think uh, is is a challenge in itself add my carbon fiber touches I, I wanted a lot of carbon fiber but I didn't want it to kind of scream in your face I feel like I did a pretty good job of it you know didn't go too overboard with it When the engine was finally finished, I rushed home to get it back in the car. I get it running, I'm driving it, you know, breaking it in because, you know, part of any fresh engine, there's a braking procedure, right? Warm it up, drain the oil, drive it 100 miles, don't pass certain RPM. I get to the 150 mark of my first oil change and my engine starts knocking again. I was like, dude. He hearing the knock is probably the worst nightmare just because of all of the that comes with it. It's like, 
man. <laughs> like, oh, anytime I started hearing some type of noise, like I started getting anxiety. Like, I don't normally get anxiety, but that's the one of the few things that will give me like crazy anxiety is like hearing some type of noise come from my engine just because of the shit I've been through because of it, you know? I pulled the engine back out, told the shop that built it, like what was going on, but I didn't want to work with them on it because if it took them two years to build my engine the first time, like how long is it going to take them to get me back it this next time? So I was like, you know what? I think it's about time I bring it to an NSX specialist. I ended up taking the advice from my other NSX owners to just bring it to HQ Engineering, David and Ryan down in SoCal. I pulled the engine back out, shipped it down to them. Those guys freaking took care of me. Like those guys know what the hell they're doing. I freaking love them for, you know, doing what they do. They love it as well. Um, you can you tell from all the other NSX uh, customers that they've had, everyone freaking loves them. They do such good work. They were able to get me back my engine in about two months. Oh, forgot to mention also, like during this time as well, I was also dealing with paint job a paint job massacre pretty much. While the engine was getting built the first time, I had decided to send the car out to get painted because I bought new body panels and stuff for it during that hoarding phase I went through, I guess. And since the engine was out, I decided to change the color. Went from white to the San Marino blue. I used to be a service advisor at BMW and whenever I would see this color pull up in the lot, you know, it would always just like catch my attention. And my favorite color is blue. So I figured, you know what, why, why not paint my NSX uh, the, the sick ass blue color. The first paint shop pretty much took my money, you know, did a crap job and I, I wanted out of it. So pulled my car out, didn't get any of my money back, bought it over to my homie Lynn over at Garage Works. He went ahead, took care of me. As you can see, like this car wasn't much of a smooth sailing. I feel like this is also, this is the reason why I'm so attached to this thing. All the roller coaster of emotions I went through building this thing. When was that? I officially got it running April 2020. So that was like a month after the shutdown. So I guess you'd say this is also a one of those COVID success stories. Because <laughs> there were so many memes during that time where everyone was like, well, hey, you're, you're at home. Why don't you get your race car done? Why don't you get your build done? And so I guess you'd say this is one of those COVID babies, I guess. <laughs> The build isn't really, I mean, I guess you could say it's mostly done. I mean, just like what everyone says, like your build's never really ever done. But I think I have a lot of the major things checked off the list already. So it has the O2 front end, O2 conversion, OEM O2 bumper, OEM O2 headlights, downforce carbon fiber type R hood, downforce vector carbon fiber front lip, Pride 20 mil wide fenders, Marga Hill side skirts, Magical Racing carbon fiber mirrors, downforce DFR side vents, Dolly Racing lower diffuser, custom LED tail lights by Lumesthetic, Type R wing, carbon fiber trunk lip, Mita B pillar, carbon fiber B pillars. These wheels are work Emotion ZR10s, 17, nine plus 17 in the front, 18 by 10 and a half plus 22 in the rear. Interior, I got Recaro SR4 Raptors, bunch of carbon fiber everywhere. A Works Bell tilt hub, personal Neo Eagle 340 mil steering wheel, Zanardi shifter stock, SOS short shifter, racing a shift knob, the SOS stage two sound system kit that they built. It has Hertz components, Hertz amp, Audison 10, footwell sub enclosure. I wrapped the door panels in a fabric to match the seats. A lot of the, the interior carbon fiber is by Steven with NC Auto USA. I also have a Cedar Ridge harness bar with Renegade Motorsports Willens harnesses, four point harnesses, some LEDs in there, you know, cause Ricer. <laughs> The zoom rear view mirror, carbon fiber obviously to match with the rest of everything. I got that from Renegade Motorsports as well. Kenwood double din head unit, type R floor mats. The main thing is the excitement I get driving the car. Yeah, it's not the fastest car out there. Super exciting to drive it. Like getting in it, just pulling out the driveway, driving around the street, even just sitting in traffic with it is really fun. I think they did a really good job of being able to balance a car that you can drive city streets like a nor every normal a normal car you know excites you, <laughs> it get gets your blood flowing and it handles like a freaking go kart. <laughs> The sound it produces, the way it handles, the way it looks. I don't really have a, another car that 
I feel could replace it. With the amount, the amount of things I've done, been able to do to it, but also the way I've been able to get it to look. So what's next for this thing? I don't know. I feel like I've built it to the point where I can fully enjoy it. You know, I did the audio, I got the air cups on here that allow me to get up, up any, pretty much any driveway. I love the exhaust note. It's a comfortable ride, handles well. I mean, yeah, it could be faster, but that's what I have my other car for. This thing, like I said, is just super exciting to drive. Maybe another set of wheels. I don't know, who knows? I mean, I love my Meisters. I like these wheels, but I don't know. You know, there, you, you never know. There might be a new wheel that comes out that might be like, ooh, I want a set of those, dude. You know, maybe a new set of, white, uh, of fenders for the rear. The one thing that does kind of bug me is like how often I go through tires on this thing. <laughs> especially in the rear. So I feel like if I went with a wide rear fender, I'd be able to pull some of the camber out and get a little bit more life out of it. But other than that, I like the car the way it is. Just wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who supported me throughout this whole build, especially HQ Engineering, David Ryan, Lynn over at Garage Works, my boy Brandon for the freaking awesome detail that you did to help me place first at Weak Fist, Steven over at NC Auto for, you know, uh, feeding into my carbon fiber addiction, Mark and Heath at Pride for providing me with a bunch of parts for this car, Kuya Automotive, Dress Up Bolts, for hooking me up. Tom over at Speed Image for taking care of me with my wheels. Jesse and uh, Jay Fong over at Vex Motorsports for also helping take care of my alignment needs. Signs of Speed for providing the parts for the build. Renegade Motorsports. Thank you to everyone who supported me throughout the, my NSX journey. Thankful for everyone I've met through this car and uh, looking forward to everyone else who I'm in, in the future. I'll, I'll, I'll be meeting through this thing. Latest. <laughs>